Mr. Joe. What's up? What's your, go ahead and plug your channel. What's your channel? Mr. Aquaclean. Mr. Aquaclean. That's right. That's right. All right. Um, it's the step saver. We're gonna get that hooked up today and test it out. Look at Joel's build, you guys. This is, I love your decals. You went against the grain with it. You know, a lot of people say, don't put too many words and yada yada, but you've said people comment on it, right? I you do know? what I want, bro. You do what you want. I see people like next to me at red lights all the time. Just they reading it. Right there. Yeah, you know, fuck I it. I'm curious about it, that's the whole point. You even got it on the back or no? No, it's or very, a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna put some more stuff on the back, but it's just very sparse. For sure. Love it. Looking forward to 2020, man. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. There's our prep one project, project number one. That definitely needs a cleaning. Guys, drop in the comments what you'd quote this at. You need a 135 foot lift. I'll give you one tip, that's one clue. So you gotta factor that into your quote. But what would you quote this at? The other question is, can we clean up those rust spots with some F9? Yeah, or even oxalic. Like, I bet we could. Uh, we could knock well, them down. We could weaken them, but I, I think some of it might be the paint, like might be bare metal showing and stuff. If they do have bare metal, we can document that for them. Basically, take a picture for them to supply them with information on the, like the health of their tower. They'd appreciate that. They, yeah, I mean, even if they want to get this repainted, which they probably need to, they need to get cleaned, obviously, so. Oh. <laughs> you ready to get out again? Hey, guys, so we just walked out of this bar. We grabbed coffee and a donut because we had some time to kill. We had some time to kill. I gotta give Joel props. He set this whole water tower bid up himself just by networking. So he actually knows these people in here well. He's, he's just kind of became friends with them. Um, and we have, we walked in here to kill some time because we're so early to meet for the estimate. Walked in here, got two cups of coffee, two donuts, and they didn't charge us nothing. They said, oh, you're good, get out of here. You know, they just, they love this guy so much they didn't charge us anything i couldn't get guy. over it i'm like let me give you something they wouldn't take it so i mean if, if you ask me joel's joel's remaining um skeptical you know like not getting too excited but if you ask me this gig's ours that they, they already love them everyone in this town loves you what the hell what can i get what do you do out here joel you just out here making making buddies or something moves, making moves man Shaking babies and kissing hands. All right, let's get to this estimate. Just looking at look the tower. The difference between the two, I think I got a little footage of the other one. So this tower is out in cornfields. Put your seatbelt on. So not much. Like yeah, I hate that. These damn new cars. There you go. There's an up. Wait. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you see that? That's what we're looking at here, boys. Yeah, but see, there's nothing surrounding. So the other one's actually, even though this one's way bigger, maybe even twice the size. Oh, um, it's way taller is what it is. Yeah. It's just not bigger. It looked bigger in circumference, too. I mean, it's a big ball. Like, uh, but there's not, there's really nothing surrounding except a commercial building, kind of. But the other thing is it's right in the middle of residential neighborhoods. So we're going to have a little more reliability there. You know what they say. What's they say? Well, I mean, you know what I say. What do you say? We're going to clean the biggest balls of them all. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's a good picture right there. Absolutely. It shows it in the spot. I'm getting a vibe that we got this one. I'm going to oh, put yeah. together the proposal. So thanks to Joel and his networking, he got a great connection here. Um, uh, so, and I've I've put together. It's probably safe to say I've probably put together more commercial proposals than Joel so I'm going I'm gonna actually put together the proposal I got you know the customer factors so I can make it really nice multiple pages and I'm gonna bust my ass and put together a really clean proposal Joel and I will re re uh, go over it together revise it and make sure it's nice and good and we'll get it sent to them ASAP uh, they've let us know that in the past they've only done bigger projects with the towers such as sandblasting the entire inside sandblasting the outside repainting um 
I mean, once you get once you get into projects like those, you're looking at anywhere from two hundred and fifty thousand to seven hundred thousand um, dollars. They're huge projects. There's big companies that travel, you know, that travel from Canada to the United States and travel all over the country doing this stuff. So we we're, we're going to come in with a bid at a fraction of the price, just basically to maintain it. We don't need to do all that extensive work, and. Uh, that's kind of the niche we're trying to go after with this. It's just try to maintain these so they get a little more life out of them and they could avoid these huge ticket uh, jobs that are just a huge mess. I mean, they essentially they take all point, the water you're, out of you're it. Basically, you're looking at, you know, for one-tenth of the price of, at of, least. of repainting just one of these towers, you can have us come out and clean them up and make them look pretty for another couple of, uh, another couple of years so, you know, you don't at have least. to come in there and, and do everything we can maintain them yeah I mean it take I feel like it takes a while to get that mildew growth grown on there because these towers are so high up in the middle of nowhere like uh, there's not much shade so I mean I, I feel like it takes some years for that growth to start so I bet it's gonna be another three to five years before they see anything build up again what do you think about throwing the wax on there should we do that I mean I, we don't have any windows to deal with we could just sweeten the pot as as I personally I just don't have much experience with the wax I, I look at it as a whole nother application to spraying the stuff it's just a, it's an extra step that's just not needed right. it might make it look a little nicer but it's I don't just an idea. yeah I think they just want that cleaned up We're, I think we'll get it done in a day I know your other partner wants to uh, bid it for four days which I think we should definitely bid it for that yeah. but I think we'll be in and out of each tower in a day I mean, depending on how smooth it goes, you could essentially get both done in the day. Definitely number two. Number one is the only concern because of electrical lines. Uh, that's your biggest hazard when it comes to, to that high angle aerial anything. Mm -hmm. um, you, you always have to. <laughs> you don't want to fry yourself. <laughs> okay, let's I not do that. Let's, let's, yeah, I wasn't too accident. worried about it. They looked like they were far enough away, but yeah, you definitely have to keep an eye on where that articulating arm is moving because it can. No, we'll have a guy on the ground that his job is simply just to watch. And we'll have radios. You'll see how this whole thing gets put together, John. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. You know, uh, Ed's really good with that. The guys that he has, you know, that's that's all we have. Safety, you got you to gotta look out for that. So we'll have radios. We'll be watching clearances. We'll mm -hmm. be, you know, yeah. everybody watches everything. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be beneficial because Joel has, you've done a lot of stuff involving lifts and yeah, I mean, we built several, um, I was in on a couple of radio towers, you know, from start to finish where we, you know, we take a, a seven foot diameter drill bit and we're drilling 32 feet down, you know, for, for the foundation, for, you know, for a, for a tripod, you know, a self-standing, you know, radio tower. Yeah. And, you know, seeing 30 feet of rebar caves lowered down into a bottomless pit like that, Jimmy Hoffa could be buried down there, you'd never know it. <laughs> the whole thing is filled up with with, the, with cement, and that's what makes the base for these these towers. Mm. And then we put them together on the on the uh, on the ground, and then we take a crane out there and we stack them, put them together like big old Lego parts. So Hell yeah. after that's all done, you know, we run the uh, electrical and the lights, and uh, you know, set up the antennas and the co run the coax and, and set up the site from start to finish. I mean, we've, I've done all of that stuff back in the day. So. Yes. You know, I'm, I don't really consider myself an, an expert on any of that by any means, but at least it's familiar to me. Right. You know, like I've, I'm comfortable with it. Right. I know what to look for. I think a lot of times, uh, at least hypothetically. Yeah. No. I mean, that, yeah. That's anyway, a good point. I, I hope. Yeah. I mean, and I mean, I've I've done tree work and we we use bucket lifts, but we were going 50 to 70 feet up with those. So this is double that at least. Um, but. Joel, you know, it's it's good. It's we're gonna have a solid team doing these projects. One thing we do have to consider, though, which I didn't even mention to you, we're gonna need to get booster pumps. What we talked about this on the way here, where you need to upgrade and actually get boosters, electric boosters, just because of the range, and it should allow, it should be enough power that will it'll still perform at those heights. But we didn't really have electrical sources there, so we'd also have to invest in a uh, generator, an on-site generator to power. Should we just get a gas booster pump? Uh, yes and no, because it's something that you could attach to with your name. Yes and no, but I've, I've heard it's tough to use the metering valves with the uh, gas-powered soft wash systems like that. 
that they don't perform the same way. Why is that? I haven't, I haven't looked in, I haven't cared enough to look too much into it, but. Um, well, because I mean, think about it. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be running straight into the booster pump. We'd have a draw off one of our supply tanks. You know, from the hydrant to our buffer tank, from our buffer tank to our booster pump. Okay. Why not? Well, we're gonna figure this out, but that's the end of this segment. Visit TeamWashLife.com. Visit Mr. Aqua Clean's YouTube channel, and uh, we'll catch you there. So on our way back, about what, 30, 45 minutes, we're seeing other water towers. Now that we're in the the moat, you know, the, the uh, mood, we are stopping in at all the public works offices and getting contact information scoping out the water tower this might just be a repaint like a this that definitely needs to be sandblasted and painted i don't know if they're going to want to rehab it but i mean that's the thing though you never know if so if they want to kick it down the line in a couple of years we can at least make it look better than it is. it's in very bad condition but this town you never know if they're like financially struggling and all they can do is afford to do uh cleaning real quick it's better than nothing absolutely so and, and this might be one of those those places especially that we experiment with getting rid of the rust streaks to see what we can do about that yeah yeah so i mean if we're gonna that's the logic is if we're gonna rent the lift anyway we're gonna rent the lift we might as well try to rent it as long as possible and get that discounted rate and then cram as many projects in as possible so that's the logic all right boys so now we are at another town uh looking at another tower uh talk to the public works manager over there third town for the day by the way third town for the day um each town has had two towers except for the second one second town um this guy and this i want to mention this to you because um it's worth mentioning and it's cool that he had mentioned it while we were talking to him um some people don't don't mention this but it's worth knowing it's valuable information every town typically has a certain budget they're willing they're able to work with where they can hire whoever they want and uh get the job done um he let us know and it's typically usually around 10 grand or less some towns it's a thousand some it's five grand you know it all depends but typically it's about 10 grand so and what that is is if he likes you and it's under 10 grand he can just hire us out right to get it done if it's over 10 grand he has to put it out to bid and get two more bids so three total bids at least um on the service and obviously pick the cheapest one so it's worth mentioning we're here at the tower now we're going to take a few pics look at it and get up out of here it's a little baby tower we got residential houses surrounding so overspray, it's very mushy. Getting an articulating lift in here might be tricky. So even though it's small, we're probably still gonna be right up, buttoned up to that 10 grand budget uh, due to the challenges. So making sure it's a dry day, lots of boards. What's that? You think so? Absolutely. Worst case scenario, uh, just because of how close that, that fence line is over there. However, with this being an articulating man lift, probably be okay. But like I said, worst case scenario, we'll send the guy over the edge. We'll run a line up to him. Mm -hmm. and, There's uh, definitely some. Popping out of that door with our gun. And There's def we... definitely some tightness. Some, some tightness. We got the building here and the fence mm -hmm. and a big tree. So it might be tricky articulating that, but uh, we'll see. It has to be a really, really dry day and still use lots of boards, so. Might be getting this, getting it checked out by the mechanic. Yeah. 